sure this is going to be a major concern for, for regulatory bodies. It, it is indeed. And regulatory bodies, of course, are, are, are showing that they wish to react in, in, in the wake of the crisis in order to, to make it clear that they are, uh, if not able to have prevented that crisis, at least they're taking steps to rectify it. Mm, sure, okay. So what do banks actually need to do to comply with the wishes of the, of the regulators? So number one, banks need to get into a position where they can be very clear on where all their money is. So they have their own internal projections of where money is. And the big differentiator here is to be able to validate that against actual uh, messages that come from the, in the during the day from other financial institutions. And that's something that has begun to grow up and will continue to, 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 to grow. The second thing that they need to do is to be able to consolidate this across the myriad of different entities, currencies, different uh, departments in an organisation. One financial institution I've been working with found that it had done a five hundred thousand Canadian dollar placement into the market on the same day that another part of the same legal entity in fact was borrowing the same amount off the market. That was unnecessary. The third thing they need to do is to automate this and make sure that it is all straight through processing. The volumes are just too high to be able to be handled manually. Mm, sure. Um, you know, you mentioned the crisis, and, and given that uh, illiquidity rather than actual insolvency was a kind of real issue during during the crisis itself, mm. if banks had been able to manage cash in real time, might the effects have been less severe? Uh, no, no, no question. If, if, if banks had known the the, uh, the the position in quasi real time instead of knowing the the, the next day, you know, one, once a day, definitely the the, the the impact would have been lessened. And uh, as Phil said, it was a, it was a liquidity management issue. Not necessarily a, a systemic issue. So we we are we are a solution vendor in the trade lifecycle management. So we, we produce a clean trade warehouse for the for the clients. We the banks can leverage that existing data to move into the, the cash, a proper cash management solution. And at, at least when when, when there is issues, both the regulators and the, on the, the place in the marketplace, financial institutions can isolate the, the problem the problem institutions very very quickly mm -hmm. and and uh, and give resolution also very quickly.